Hello. Is is everything good? All right. Wait, Skateman, are you? Hey tout le monde, fait qu'on est prêt avec Shovel Knight qu'on a switché justement au Farmer's Edge après finalement. Sur PC, Any% le mode Spectre Knight avec te... avec Tolu. Ouais. <rire> J'étais un peu mêlé avec tous les changements de dernière minute. Mais... Puis hein? Skateman, you're mic'd, so... There you go. Ouais. Okay. Donc, sans plus tarder, on va commencer la run, so Tolu, Skateman, take it away. Wait, I can't really hear you all Testing, well. testing. Okay, that's good. Okay, okay, now okay. I can hear you. All right, cool. Uh, so I guess I'll just give you a countdown. Three, two, one, go. Good luck, my dude. Yo, thanks, man. All right, so yeah, this is uh, Spectre Knight, any percent. Just gonna be beating the game here uh, as fast as possible. So uh, Spectre Knight has a lot of really cool uh, basic has a really cool basic moveset so he can climb and scale walls all over the place. So every time he touches a wall he actually try, he'll, he'll try to like climb uh, up a bit. And he can also uh, break dirt blocks uh, when jumping on top of them. And his slash on the ground is actually like really really fast as well and it does damage like really fast. But his main ability which is really nice is this air slash that you just saw. Uh, which I can only do, like, if I'm in the air and there's an object or an enemy near me, I will try to sort of slash towards it. And it's also, uh, like, one of the main uh, basic uh, speed things that I could do to save the most time. So, like, yeah, when you slash, you go almost, like, double walking speed, which is really good. Uh, I'm also, so like here you might have seen me like go out of my way a little bit to collect these red skulls. Alright, that's another one. That one can be pretty hard to get. You have to time your slash like at the top of your jump. Uh, but yeah, I need the red skulls in order to actually get sub weapons for Spectre Knight later on. Yeah, they're, they're pretty good upgrades. <laughs> Let's just leave it at that. Yeah. Uh, once I actually get one of them, you'll you'll see what I'm talking about. All right, so I'm gonna be entering the uh, first boss here. So this is Black Knight, except now he has a friend, an animal friend. So and shout uh, out to the rhino. Yeah. Actually, he's a tortoise. Oh, okay. Yeah. Please. Tortoise with a rhino horn. All right. Yeah, don't worry. Oh, no. This is the worst thing ever. Okay, well, this is fine. So usually I would have been able to lock him in the corner and then bounce him back and forth basically forever. But uh, I guess you get to see some hot attacks here on the ground. Oh, maybe I can... Nope. Okay. <laughs> ah, this is fine. But yeah, I, I could have locked him uh, in the corner there and like killed him like really fast, but unfortunately he got away. Uh, sometimes that could happen. So every time I beat the stage, I go back to uh, this uh, the tower, the tower hub, and right in this room I can buy like. Uh, Sub weapons and armor upgrades, uh, health and darkness upgrade, etc. Darkness being my my magic here, basically. All right, so Spectre Knight, unlike every other character in the game, can actually choose what stages he goes to uh, right after beating the first one. So right here, I'm going to Flying Machine. Oh wow, that. That jump is okay. This, hey, there you go. <laughs> that that missing that wall jump is actually kind of really hard. You have to really try to be bad to do that. <laughs> oh, that was close. I don't. I can't believe I did that, dude. I almost died. Yeah, I'm just gonna do a damage boost off that guy because uh, his movement can be kind of unpredictable. So it's a lot easier to just take damage there.
I will be picking a little bit of extra money, like a little bit out of my way here. Uh, because I will be needing it after this stage. Oh yeah, and I'm also going to be breaking uh, some checkpoints here. So, the way checkpoints work is that you can, you know, obviously, like, you, if you die, you go back to them. But you can actually break them in this game and uh, get a bunch of money for it, which is a pretty cool mechanic. So this is a fun little wall scroller where nothing much happens. Uh, but yeah, right now I have 10 red skulls and I'm gonna get, I believe, uh, yeah, one more in this one. I need 10 red skulls at the end of this stage in order to get the, uh, the Judgment Rush, which will be uh, the most important sub-weapon that I'll get. I also will be, will be getting the Rail Mail right after this stage, so I need quite a bit of money for that as well. Ah, oh, dang. Yeah, so, I, ideally, you would get to the span room and you'd be able to, like, go right away uh, without having to wait like I just did. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> that was close. Alright, so this room is basically the worst thing ever. Nope. Oh, okay. Oh, never mind, this room's easy. But you can see how that room can go really badly, really quickly. Because those enemies are really difficult to uh, predict what exactly they're going to do. Okay. I actually jumped a little bit too early because the, the, the wind wasn't blowing when I jumped. Oh, you also drop 25% of your gold whenever you die. Which is actually pretty bad if you manage to lose your gold like in the early game. But here I have a pretty good opportunity to get some of it back, so I got all of it back, so that's good. No issues. Alright, so I do have enough money for everything I need, so no no major mistake. Only lost a couple seconds there. Oh yeah, Propeller Knight. Uh, he's really annoying, but uh, yeah, whatever. He's, he's a nerd. Oh, okay. I see you. Oh my god, that's really bad luck, actually. He, us he usually doesn't fly away like that, but that was a pretty decent fight for the mistake I made at the beginning. Oh, whoops, okay. Menuing's the hardest boss in this game, honestly. So as long as I don't menu uh, badly, then I'm good. Alright, so yeah, this is Judgment Rush. This is not OP at all? Yeah. <laughs> so basically, whenever you use Judgment Rush, you try to home in on the nearest enemy, the Slash 2. And it can basically clear an entire screen by just using it once. Which is pretty cool. So yeah, this is the rail mail, and this is where the game actually gets fast, because right now, I, whenever I touch the ground, I can basically just skate on and like pretty much move at double speed, which is really cool. Redman has now officially become Scytheman222. <laughs> so at the beginning of this stage is actually pretty hard, because I'm gonna... There's like a, a room filled with pots. Uh, right in the middle here, and I'm going to be trying to get there as soon as they go up, so that I don't have to wait. And so far I'm doing pretty good. I'm going to break this checkpoint as well. Oh, I don't like this. Oh, never mind. I did it. So yeah, that was the part that I was talking about. Oh, nice, I got the fast rush. Oh, 
Okay. Okay, that was close. I really, I can only take one damage in this boss because I only have like one health left right now. But I'm gonna get a refill uh, right there. This is probably like one of the hardest uh, stages in the game for sure. Uh, I'm gonna take this a little bit slowly. Oh dang. Oh, that's not supposed to happen. Alright. I could pick up health here for Plague Knight, but uh, I should be fine. Don't worry about it. So this guy, he can be kind of a problem. He can He's very random, so hopefully he gives me a decent pattern here. Oh god, the colors on this screen are kind of throwing me off. Because his, his clones are actually... Uh, you can see from the color difference like what his real form is, but it's a little bit hard for me to see on this uh, screen. But apparently I got lucky there at the end, so that's cool. Oh yeah, so this is another cool thing about this character. Um, after a certain amount of stages, you go into these uh, memory uh, sequences, and you get to play as a past Spectre Knight. This is like one of the main reasons why I like this uh, campaign. The flashbacks are pretty cool. Respect the lore. Also, this doesn't like make any sense at all, but the, the money that I collect here actually transfers to the future. I don't, I don't know how that works. Alright, so the next stage will be Lost City. Which is... Oh, whoa, 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 whoops. I, <laughs> I'm actually really bad when it comes to remembering what the route is, so before I actually go into Lost City, I'll actually get this, uh, my last sub-weapon here, the Bounding Soul. So yeah, every... Ah, oh, dang. I was uh, trying to do a damage boost there. <clears throat> but yeah, the Bounding Soul is a projectile weapon that you shoot at a... Uh, like, down diagonal from where you're facing. And it's pretty useful for killing bosses real fast. But yeah, this stage is also probably one of the hardest. This game has, like, a really brutal early game. Uh, there's a lot of lava pits you can fall into and lose tons of time on. Uh, but yeah, hopefully that doesn't happen. <laughs> okay, that was close. Oh dang. Uh, oh dang, okay. I'll just do a backup here. Dang, I didn't jump far enough. But I, I will try that again. Uh, the money I lost is gonna be a little bit of an issue, but I can I can make I can make that up pretty easily. Okay. All right, cool. That slash is really difficult to land. Close. 
slimes, please. Not like this. Not right now. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm gonna try to get this gem, which is pretty hard to get. Okay. This section is oddly hard. Uh, railing while you destroy those blocks is actually really hard. Alright, so... Oh, damn. I I actually forgot to bound one of my buns properly. So I kind of messed this fight up. Damn, alright. You're not supposed to see that phase, but oh well. Alright, so I'm a little bit low uh, on gold, but that's fine because I can uh, I can get some backup gold here in the tower. So if I talk to these two dudes, they will give me a bunch of money, which is really nice of them. Alright, so this is the uh, sub-weapon... Oh man, I got an achievement. Nice. Congrats, dude. <laughs> but yeah, that's the upgrade vendor, so now I upgraded... Uh, uh, my Bounding Soul, and now it can pierce through enemies, and I can have four of them on the screen instead of uh, instead of two. All right, so this is Reese, and there's a setup for him. All right, this is a good start. Oh, whoops! Oh, that kind of worked. All right, that was a decent fight. Nice use of Bounding Soul there. Yeah. So yeah, you saw you actually used the Bounding Soul to like recoil them like right where he was supposed to spawn. Alright, so yeah, this is Iron Whale. I pretty much have like everything I need to go through the rest of the game. Uh, but I will be do, uh, getting like a couple of uh, darkness upgrades uh, after this stage. So there's like a little spot there where you're kind of not supposed to slash through that tentacle, but as long as you set it up properly, you will be able to do that. You're just barely able to. Aw, oh, dang. Alright, so this is probably everyone's favorite uh, mini-boss. It's 420 fish. My run was actually originally scheduled for 420, but unfortunately that didn't happen. Rip. Pretty sad about it. Oh yeah, by the way, the, the, the 420 lore. Uh, he's called 420 Fish because he gets real high and it's actually really bad for you. So I need to sort of... Oh nice, he's being real nice right now actually. Yeah, got tons of a hit there. He stayed in the middle, nice. which is really nice. Oh yeah, another thing to mention there, which was uh, really nice that it happened there, I was able to actually... You can actually hit the Bounding Souls, and they'll actually, like, uh, they'll bounce back. Which is pretty useful on that boss. Ah, uh, okay. So this is, uh... The big... F ow, ow, ow. This is the big fish from 
on Super Mario. Oh, yeah. Pretty much. <laughs> and she actually Pretty deals, like, two whole hearts of, of uh, damage, which is one of the, the, the highest damage any, that uh, any enemy can deal to you in this game. Dude, you have 222 two, two in your gold. Never mind. <laughs> this one while it lasted. Oh my god, please. This room is the worst because the missiles fire at a random rates. And I, the first missile actually fired real fast there and messed me up. Alright, so this is Treasure Knight. He's kind of a big chump. You just do this. Then you like do this and this and this and this, this, and he's dead. Pretty easy boss. Oh yeah, so one of the things I, I didn't mention is that... So right here I'm able to buy a uh, darkness upgrade. And you can only buy darkness and health upgrades from that NPC if you've already cleared a stage where you didn't uh, get that upgrade. And uh, I don't get them uh, in the stages because they actually take, uh, like, I have to go into extra rooms, and so it takes more time. So it's a lot uh, better for me if I just buy them with gold at the uh, tower. Oh, dang, I didn't... So yeah, sometimes Rush acts weird, like it's supposed to lock on to the nearest enemy that you're able... That It's supposed to lock on to the closest enemy that you're nearest, but sometimes it doesn't do that for some reason. Alright. This room can be pretty scary. So yeah, that room is pretty easy. <laughs> Judgment Rush puts in a lot of work on this stage. Oh, something I haven't mentioned before, which is uh, pretty small. Once you climb over a ledge, you can actually... Uh, you can reduce the hang time in the air if you slash right after like clearing a, a wall. Which saves a little bit of time because basically you want to... Oh, wait a minute. Uh... Okay, this room's kind of scary. Okay, I'm good. Alright, so this boss is actually pretty hard. I'm gonna start the fight with a Judgment Rush to him, and then I'm gonna try to like juggle a bunch of Bounding Souls into him, so that he changes to a second phase right away. That's a pretty good start. Oh dang, I <laughs> what did I just do there? Aw, oh, damn. I almost uh, one-cycled him there, but still a pretty good fight. Alright, so now it's time for the second uh, memory sequence, which is the most uh, difficult, for sure. Oh yeah, um, you can actually collect the sub-weapon I just got on the first stage, but the your friend Luan just kind of gives it to you at the start of this one. So it's faster to just let him give it to you. Alright, so here I'm going to try to do... Nice. That, that slash is actually pretty hard. Yeah, you're able to whiff a slash there on that enemy and then go directly onto the ladder. Alright, it's time to fight our friend Shield Knight. She's actually not a friend, she's terrible. She can do a bunch of jumps at the start that are... Oh, that's a really bad one. Okay. Uh, okay, this could have been worse. That was a pretty decent fight. <laughs> I 
Alright, so next stage is going to be Clockwork Tower. Which is my least favorite stage because it actually has two auto-scrollers that are really, really long. <laughs> Literally two-thirds of the time you spend on this stage is on those auto-scrollers alone. This screen can be pretty scary. Oh, I don't feel good about this at all. Uh... Okay. <laughs> that was a little bit funky. Noose. Oh, one thing that I used there to save myself on that screen was that uh, if I use Judgment Rush, and there's no enemies on the screen that I can rush to, you, I'll, I'll sort of just stall in the air. Which will give me enough time to sort of uh, adjust myself, and uh, it can save me like I just did on that uh, that one screen, which is pretty nice. So here's auto score number one, I guess. Yep. So I don't know if we mentioned this, but uh, the Shovel Knight DLCs are pretty cool because, like, not only do they really change the stages, but they also remix the music. But actually, they. They, uh, I think all of the stage music for uh, for Plague is actually the same, but for Spectre Knight, oh, I guess really? they, okay. uh, I don't know, they got more money or something, so they just decided to make uh, some brand new tracks. Yeah, so they, they really went all out with this DLC compared to Plague. Plague the best, though. <laughs> My boy, Plague Knight. Oh, I should probably... Yeah, I'm gonna grab that checkpoint, because it's, it's pretty punishing if I die. Oh yeah, I just went over that pillar, don't worry about it. The, there is no ceiling there for whatever reason. I'm just gonna go around here. So that's a pretty cool trick. You can bait that knight into jumping at you, and then you can do a, like a recoil slash, and then clear the room a lot faster. Uh, so right now, I pretty much don't have to worry about money anymore because the just defeating a Tinker Knight gives me like three thousand gold, and I only need to buy one more Darkness upgrade for the rest of the game. So unless I die like literally 10 times in a row, uh, <laughs> money will not be an issue. So I think... Eh, I'm not gonna get health for Tinker Knight. I think I'm fine. I'll probably regret doing this, but hopefully nothing goes wrong. You got this. Yeah, I got this. I just uh, went through the hardest part. Oh, okay. <laughs> I almost died there. Everything is cool, though. I get a health refill right here. Alright, so I'm gonna try to recoil some souls really precisely, so... Oh, I missed one hit. Oh, that was bad, actually. Okay. Actually, I'm not doing too terribly. Okay, that wasn't bad. Alright, so I'm getting pretty close to the end of the game here. Only have uh, two stages left, and then afterwards, uh, that unlocks the last two stages. Or the last, yeah, the last two stages. Uh, this is the Baz, I don't know, he's a nerd. Then he kind of runs away because he's sad or something, I don't know. So 
Uh, this is King Knight stage. Uh, King Knight's actually going to be the next DLC to come out. Oh, I forgot something. <laughs> I forgot to buy magic. Oh well, uh, I'll be fine. Uh, magic for this stage shouldn't be too much of a problem. I should still be able to do pretty well. Man, I really rely heavily on my split stuff for my route. It's actually kind of embarrassing. Like, I literally don't know what I'm doing when I don't have my splits. So you can't hit objects with your bounding soul. So right there, I hit the book, and it, uh, like, I actually hit it. Oh, I'm gonna try to slow down a little bit here because I, I didn't go fast enough at the start. There's a checkpoint there, but it's like super out of the way, so I'm just gonna skip that. Alright, so... Apparently I took a screenshot. <laughs> I don't know how that happened. I can't blame you, King Knight's pretty awesome. Yeah, I've, how, did, how did I do that? I have no idea. Take a screenshot now, he killed him. Yeah, oh yeah, he's dead. Oh yeah, I forgot to explain him. He, ah, whatever. <laughs> he, he did the thing really fast. Yeah, I did the thing, dude. Yeah, it looked like the magic, you didn't really need much there. You kind of found a way through it. Yeah. And you got like a refill before the boss, too. Yeah, there's only, really only one room where like magic is an issue. Uh, for King Knight, you, yeah, you don't really need all that much. You're going to get it now? Yeah. Okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for trying. <laughs> Thanks for reminding me. Yeah, no problem. Alright, last stage, Polar Man. He is, uh... Actually, this stage is probably the trickiest out of all the stages. There's a lot of, like, weird things you have to do that are kind of non-intuitive. This stage is really cool. Lots of sideboarding. I'm gonna try to get ahead of this line, which I just did. Oh, I didn't. Damn. Sometimes when you're holding down and you hit the ground, sometimes you won't start the rail because this game is weird sometimes. I don't know how to explain it other than that. Oh, nice. Uh, killing that bird before he gets off the screen is actually pretty difficult. So yeah, these switchies, uh, <laughs> these switchies uh, <laughs> can be pretty difficult to hit sometimes. Come on. Ah, oh, dang. I didn't need to go on the rails there, but doing the, the slash off the switch to avoid the... Ah, oh, dang. Yeah, I could have hit the uh, the switch there with the bounding soul, but I kind of messed it up. Right here. I can also use Rush to, uh, like, escape the rail, because it, like... Whenever you're on the rail and you try to like slip off of it, it like kind of homes you back to it in an odd way. But if you use rush at the end there, you sort of uh, escape the rail. Gonna take this health just for safety. It's gonna, I'm gonna be trying to set up some bounding soul hits here. And he's gonna run off the screen. Nice.
Yeah, it's really hard to explain all the boss fights in this game because they, they all happen so fast. And it's really hard to like explain like everything that's going on. Yeah, there really isn't much to explain. They just they evaporate in three seconds. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to be entering the last couple of stages here. This stage is probably one of the hardest in the game, or the hardest in the game because of the, the boss at the end that is impossible. Literally impossible. Ah, oh, dang. Uh, okay. Grind on these spikes and not die. All right, cool. I'm gonna try to go for the fast crusher cycle here, which can be very scary to do. Got it. Oh, I didn't grab the checkpoint. It's okay, because I'm not going to die. That's not going to happen. Alright, just hold left for this room, and you get through it every single time. It's our big fish friend again. And she's going to help us. There you go. Oh, nice. Oh my god, that was really close. <laughs> I was about to uh, slash off the edge there. Oh, some I I kind of feel bad for uh, not mentioning this, but uh, yeah, the the people in the community actually call the big fish uh, Bertha for some reason. I don't know how that happened. So shout outs to Bertha. Alright, so I'm gonna time a jump here, slash, climb off the ladder, I'm up here now. Alright, so boss at this stage is our friend Black Knight. Now ten times worse because he can fly on this tortoise somehow. Okay, that's not good, but I think I can recover from this. Okay. Nice, okay, that was a pretty decent backup. But yeah, he's a, he's a really hard boss to predict like exactly what he's going to do. Please. <laughs> Menuing is the hardest boss again. Oh dude, you got 222 in your gold again. Oh sh. No. <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. I'm so sorry. Nice. Completely planned. Now so if we can get our donations to be that too. Yeah, that'd be that'd really be nice. pretty sweet. Yeah. Oh yeah, I'm doing this room the intended way. I'm just standing here and jumping off the screen. Oh yeah, that sounds about right. Oh nice, I got the super flip too. You're not actually supposed to get that that amount of height from uh, like a wall flip, but like for some reason on these blocks, if you climb them while they're spawning, you'll that'll happen. So yeah, I'm going to head towards the uh, last two bosses here. Game's almost done. Oh, 
Hopefully I can get the first setup good. Alright, this is good so far. Yeah, this is really solid. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh that's sick. That's basically the best quick kill you can get off that boss. Really happy I got that. Now we have the final boss. Yep. Really cool casually, but kind the, of annoying in the speedrun, right? The rails he spawns are completely random, and they can spawn in, like, at literal MC Escher-like fashion and, like, do this crisscross weird all over the place. So I think they gotta get ready on time, right? Yeah. Okay. Time is when this boss is dead. Oh, Okay, that was close. You can kill him, like, right as soon as he passes there, but it's really difficult to set up. Yeah, time is gonna be soon here. Time. Alright, cool. Uh, but yeah, that was Spectre Knight, uh, Spectre of Torment. I uh, hope you all enjoyed. Uh, if you want to run this game, just uh, join the Discord. Or if you don't want to run this character or want to run, like, whatever of this game, uh, yeah, you can join the Discord as well. Uh, there's an active community for pretty much everything. So if uh, what you saw today was pretty interesting to you, you can try it out. It doesn't matter. Uh, if you think you're not good enough, this game is pretty easy to get into. So yeah. And well, donate as well. Well, Tolu, that was an amazing run. Thank you so much. I Thanks. loved it. Thanks, man. Alright, cool. So Thanks. Hopefully we'll see you soon. We might have an announcement at the end of the event, so... Oh, oh, oh okay. Oh, dude, I called what? it. I, wait. <laughs> okay. Wait, what am I... Okay. <laughs> I'm not going to ask questions right now. But yeah, thanks for watching, and uh, see you step. soon, I guess? I don't know. <laughs> All right, thanks. Thanks, guys. All right, so we're going to be moving on to... En tout cas, je suis en français. <laughs> la dernière, on on s'en va vers la dernière run de l'événement. On a dû couper Axiom Verge à la fin du marathon, faute de temps, puis qu'on peut aucunement déborder. Donc, euh, on, va, on va enchaîner avec Mirror's Edge. Donc, de un vrai petit 5 minutes, puis on va continuer avec ça. Mais merci encore, Toulou. Puis euh, c'était vraiment une super bonne run. Mais bonne main d'applaudissements pour Toulou, tout le monde.